A tradition since 1931 is going to come alive again this weekend at the Durham Museum as they celebrate National Root Beer Float Day over the course of the weekend. Joining me today is Jessica and Alyssa. Thanks so much for coming Thanks in. Thanks for having us. Let's uh, set the stage here. First and foremost, what do the Durham Museum and Root Beer Floats have in common? <laughs> Where's the link here? A ton. We have everything in common. Um, so we obviously have our original 1931 soda fountain still in operation wow. uh, down at the museum, which is really cool. There's, there's not too many original soda fountains in the area. So um, that's one of our things that we're very proud of. Um, but one of the signature things that's been served since back in the day at the soda fountain is the root beer float. And Saturday um, is National Root Beer Float Correct. Day. So of course we have to participate. Um, and we are giving away free eight ounce um, root beer floats to anyone who comes to the museum on Saturday. Free root beer floats on yeah. Saturday. That's pretty good incentive to show up <laughs> to the museum. Alyssa here is a soda jerk and I'm I'm not I being am. impolite. <laughs> Why are they called soda jerks? Um, we have a spigot because we make the root beer floats a little differently. Um, we actually make our own root beer with syrup and seltzer water. And the spigot is what the seltzer water comes out of. And it has just two different streams, so you kind of just have to jerk it back and forth. Is there a lot of technique to making a good root beer float? I mean, yes, there is. <laughs> <laughs> you hence, really have to practice. Hence the reason for there's a competition on Friday. You're going to take part in it. I am. Uh, how do you feel about your chances? I mean, well, the first year I did it, I won. Last year I lost, so this is my comeback year. I'm, I'm going to do it this year. <laughs> Redemption year. <laughs> Redemption wow. year. Alyssa, uh, it, it is hard. I've tried it. It takes a very uh, specific technique, so she's ready to go. She's got a few tricks up her sleeve this year, I think. So. Okay, well, you obviously brought a few props in here. Yeah. What can you show us about a, a perfect root beer All right. float? Well, obviously, this is not going to be the competition. But um, we couldn't. this is for somebody at home. Yes, somebody at home. So you can't. You have to make sure that doesn't overflow. First of all, so it's gonna. You're gonna have to pour it in a couple of times. But that's all right. And then and you I have always to make think sure it depends. Start. Like, are you a really ice cream heavy root beer like flow like Are you yeah, a root beer? And, and uh, we also have the the soda fountain also serves other kind of floats too. It Coke floats and different kinds of things. So. Um, we're just celebrating root beer floats on Saturday. So, and along with that, there's also an educational experience to get people caught up on, on the history of it all, Yeah, correct? yeah. I think, um, you know, like I said, the, the soda fountain being around since 1931, um, things like why is a soda jerk called a soda jerk is something fun kids can learn. Um, and I think it's a little nostalgic. You know, people, some people may remember visiting a soda fountain in their town when they no were doubt. little. So, um, the come down and get that authentic experience. And um, it's just meant to be a really fun day. All right, open up 10 to 5 on Saturday. Uh, admission applies, but if you're a member, of course, you get in free and you get a free root beer float yeah. if you show up on Saturday. Thanks so much for coming in and good luck on Friday. Thanks. <laughs> All right.